Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wood Seed, you here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, I won't be before you long today because actually I'm in the midst of a national uh, campaign. The Board of Bishops of the Church of God in Christ are in, we're in our uh, uh, elections. And so uh, I wanted to take out the time today uh, to, to speak to you because even though we're doing that, this is is so very important because tonight we will be studying the word of the Lord together. And I am so excited about what we want to share with you tonight. Now, first of all, I want to thank the God of the Bible for how he has watched over us and, and touched the weather. It's a, it's a rain event, but I thank God that, uh, that we're not, uh, there's not snow and, and ice all over our viewing area area and then the areas where where there is we're praying for the people that the lord would keep them safe and saints let's pray for the state of texas let's pray for the city of dallas let's pray for the surrounding areas because <clears throat> there is something going on out there uh, a once in every 30 years or so storm and uh, uh god even knows how to show us that uh, man's best uh, God is able to send something that can shut it down. And, uh, and then when politics and different things get involved in the heating and the cooling, and we begin to experiment with uh, sources of heat and protection that haven't been proven, oftentimes they let us down when we need them to, the most. So let us pray for the people in the Texas area and in other areas where there is adverse weather. Let us hold the saints up and let us continue to pray that God keep us uh, in the midst of this uh, uh, a pandemic. Thank God, according to reports on the news, that cases are going down. We praise the Lord for that. Our God is faithful and our God is good. But I want to talk to you from the scriptures tonight. I'm going to speak to you. I started to call them the Fantastic Four, but I might get in trouble with Marvel Comics and Stan Lee. So I'm going to speak to you a little bit as we're teaching about the Faithful Four. And I won't get in trouble with anybody uh, for talking about the Faithful Four. And if I do get in trouble, then I'll just deal with the trouble. But our God is looking for people who will stand up and you know, as you can tell, we, we are outnumbered. It seems like the, it seems to me, it seems to me when you hear the preaching that's going forth, when you see the trends that are going forth, even when you see the wickedness that is being signed, signed into law, that the believers are we're becoming an a, a ever shrinking minority. But don't worry, my friends, God has us in his hands. And the God of the Bible is in full control. So I want you to meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for, ready for it, Bible study. <laughs> yes, Bible study. We're going to study the word of the Lord together and God is going to bless us real good. And I have an announcement to make about the service tomorrow night in Port Smith, Virginia. Uh, God has blessed North Carolina, third jurisdiction. We're growing in the state of Virginia, and good things are happening. God bless Superintendent Bamberg and uh, Lady Bamberg and uh, the good things that are taking place up there. I can hardly wait to share them with you and to tell you all about it tonight. So may God's choice blessings be yours, and we'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. If you could come out and join us in person, we would love to have you in the live service. God's going to bless us real good. But if you can't, then join us on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, as we walk in the scriptures. May God's choice blessings be yours.